All right, what's good, YouTube? Finally back with another video for you guys. So, community post. I asked you guys if you wanted to see me make a beat in 10 minutes, and it's looking like that's what you guys wanted to see, so that's what we're going to be doing today. So I'm going to give you guys a little rundown of this. So I'm going to just uh, set a timer for 10 minutes, and I'm going to go ahead and make a beat. I'm going to first open Omnisphere so I don't got to wait for it to load because I'm definitely using Omnisphere. But I'm definitely going to go for like some kind of piano, like little Tekka type shit like that. Just because in my opinion, that's kind of like the easiest and the quickest to make for me at least. So let's wait for this Omnisphere to load up. And while we're doing that, I'll pull up a timer. Throw this uh, 0, 10, 0, 0. 10 minutes. There we go. Alrighty. So we got the timer ready. Omnisphere is pulled up. You know what? First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the BPM to one, one sixty one, and then we're gonna go start this timer. So let's get it. Ten minutes. Let's see what we can do. All right, timer started. So I'm going the piano roll. I'm gonna just use C minor because that's what I'm most familiar with. Oh shit! I gotta pick a fucking piano. Keyscape library, we're gonna use the, uh, let's go to just grand piano. Come on, let's take precious time.
cool. So I like that. I'm going to process this as fast as I can. We're just going to throw RC on there, take this down, bring the wobble up, distort down, bring the mix down, add a little bit of reverb, widen it a bit, destroy some of the low, take out a little bit of high. All right, actually running good on time. All right, so I'm going to open up another Omnisphere and see if we can make the sound just a little bit better. Got the drink in there. Um, I'm looking for some kind of. I'm just gonna wave supply and grab an ARP. kick pattern, paste it in there, bring that down, control L, and then we'll bring this down to the root note, so go C,
seconds to spare. Alrighty. So I got the loop down. I guess I didn't really uh, lay it out in time, but I mean, it takes like two seconds anyways. So uh, this is probably what I'm gonna do. So I'll just have this loop for a little bit. I'll grab the drums right here. Have those come in on right here. Loop this again. And I'm probably just gonna do something real simple like this. So I have a loop, no kick for the first drop. Have the drums come out right here. Keep the clap going though. Drop the 808 right there, and then it'll come back in even harder. Drop the bell right here. Let's go no bell in the beginning, and then I'm gonna add, ooh, this is one thing I should have done. I do want a bass in here, so I'll do that. Go on my kit and grab the bass. Route this to mixer track five, go in here. I'm adjusting the envelope so it only plays while so if I release it, let go right away. And then I'm also going to put cut itself, and then we're going to go in here, and this goes, goes C, F, uh, I believe, D sharp, and A sharp. setting there we go jeez how i cut i'm gonna take a lot of the high out of the bass uh cool so there's my 10 minute beat so i'm gonna have this just loop and then i'm gonna have so after the full drop i'm gonna have this come back in and then i'm gonna duplicate this and have just the hi-hat and the clap and the bass is gonna come back in or actually i'm just gonna loop that and let's see we're at 208 now so let's loop it again and cut this last part off i think we should be at yeah perfect Cool. And then I'm going to go here, go to my master, right click the volume fader, create automation clip, and I'm going to just have this fade out in the end. So here I'll let you guys listen to that. But I mean, that's it. That's my 10 minute beat. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you guys learned something, enjoyed it or anything like that, make sure you hit the like button. If you're enjoying my channel, please hit that subscribe button. Pay attention to my community post too, because that's where I get video ideas from you guys. So keep running those up and I'll see you guys in the next one.